I'm Dr. Paul Jurgens, a preventive cardiologist here at South Denver Cardiology, specializing in the assessment and management of cardiovascular disease risk. Today, I'd like to talk about the answer to a question that many patients ask, which is, who should get a coronary calcium score? If you were to ask me, should I get a coronary calcium score, I would talk with you and see if you met any of these three criteria. If you're a man or woman age 45 to 85, and we calculated your short-term cardiovascular disease risk to be in the borderline or intermediate category, a coronary calcium score for added risk stratification can be beneficial. If you have extra risk enhancers, such as a strong family history for a heart attack or a stroke, a coronary calcium score can be beneficial. Lastly, if by our cardiology guidelines, we recommend starting a cholesterol-lowering medication, but you're uncertain of the benefit, a coronary calcium score can provide added information to help you with your decision making. If you're someone who is asymptomatic, without exertional chest pain, chest pressure, shortness of breath with your activities, and you have a low risk for heart disease based on classical risk factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, being asymptomatic and low risk for heart disease, you probably shouldn't get a coronary artery calcium score. Now, if there's any question in your mind whether a coronary artery calcium score is right for you, I encourage you to discuss this more with your healthcare provider. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.